Hi, welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm Larry Karaszewski. Today, the 1970s are looked back on with great fondness. But when you were living in the 70s, you hated the 1970s. Nothing worked. Nixon, Watergate, Vietnam. You weren't happy unless you were on cocaine. <laughs> and a huge market opened up for nostalgia. In movies, music, theater, audiences wanted to get the hell out of the 70s and taken somewhere else. You know, back to our time. The movie that kicked off the nostalgia craze of the 1970s was probably The Summer of 42, Richard Mulligan and Herman Rocher's look back at friendship and first love at the home front during World War II. It was a huge hit, establishing a commercial template, teenage movies set in the past. That way, you lock in two different audiences. Kids, because the movies are about kids, and grown-ups, because it takes place during the time that they actually grew up. This is a very heartfelt and sincere story, and it's different in that it gives preference to the female point of view. Usually these movies are very male. For example, Summer 42, it's about those three boys, not Jennifer O'Neill. Here the ladies lead, and an illegal abortion figures prominently in the plot. This is actually the second very good film that lead actress Pamela Sue Martin makes on this topic after 1972's To Find a Man. She's terrific here. But the performance that steals the picture is from Betsy Slade as the awkward best friend. It should have launched a big career. Slade is so good that director Brian De Palma made her his first choice to play the title role in Stephen King's Carrie. But we all know how that turned out. Sissy Spacek fought for the role, became a star, and made movie history. 